Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. I have my second Het for Lavender clutch now all shed out and I thought I'd take the opportunity given the comments from the first video of just running through how we identify uh, some of the morphs that are present in the clutch. So let's take a look at the clutch. So you're faced with this writhing box of baby snakes that all look different uh, but where on earth do you start to try to identify them? Well this is my second Het Lavender clutch. Um, we've already looked at one clutch previously and from the comments that I got many of you appreciated uh, looking at the clutch all together and comparing them side by side. So this is actually the same male but uh, the pastel female's sister. So this is a Firefly Het for Lavender to a Pastel Het for Lavender female and when we look at the clutch the first place I always start is with the parents. So here is the male, lovely guy this one. Uh, he is a Firefly Het for Lavender and from the first clutch we did get visual lavender so he has proved out to be Het for Lavender which is one reason he's probably so bright. Um, so Firefly Het for Lavender, and obviously he's pastel from the head stamp. But you can also see the reduced pattern that fire gives, and these characteristic donuts here on the dorsal with these little bow ties as well. So this is characteristic of Firefly. So we ought to be able to see that in some of the offspring too. So fire, what we're looking for is a pattern reduction, bow ties and these donuts. So let's just stick him back. And this is the female. This uh, is just a pastel. She's supposed to be het for lavender, but obviously we haven't proved her out yet. Her sister did prove out and um, she is also quite a reduced pattern and very very bright for a pastel so I'm still fairly confident that this is actually uh, Het for Lavender and maybe having an influence but even if she hasn't proved out the father has so some of the offspring are also going to be Het for Lavender even if the female is not carrying the gene and remember Lavender does have an influence on the brightness of some of the snakes Het for Lavender snakes tend to be a little bit brighter than their non-het siblings. I've noticed that in the clutches that I've produced so far. So this is a straight pastel, but it's quite a bright one. So this is mum. So there is fire. There is two copies of pastel, one in mum and one in dad. So there isn't really too many combinations that we can get. So we have fire. We have a copy of pastel in mum and a copy of pastel in dad, so we can also get firefly, which is fire and pastel. We can get superfly, which is fire and two copies of pastel. And we can also get pastel and super pastel without fire. So there's not too many combinations that we could get, but let's take a look at the offspring and see if we can start to ID them. And of course, we do have the benefit now of being able to look at this girl's sister's clutch, which is the exact same pairing. Okay, so what I like to start to do is you can immediately start to see differences in the snake. Look at this really bright one down here. This one is way brighter than anything else in the clutch. So let's just pull that one to one side for a moment. This one is bright and orange with a lot of blushing and is also quite different to others in the clutch. But now I'm starting to see, as we dig deeper into this pile of snakes, I'm starting to see Whoop. there we go, we've got three snakes here which are fairly similar. Uh, this guy is a normal, I think as you can see there is no reduced pattern, no additional brightness this is just a normal possible het lavender and you can see compared to this one there is a difference in the in the brightness and the pattern so here we've got a normal and we also have these two guys here which are if you remember 
the two twins and these are also normal so they're carbon copies of each other half the size of the normal babies but these are also normal so we've got one normal sized normal and two unnormal sized normals which were the twins so let's put these back put those out of the way and see what else we can see in the remaining baby so this one stands out as being the dullest of the remaining ones but is brighter than a normal and also has the very reduced pattern the bright dorsal and you see on the tail how the alien heads have coalesced down at the tail and I think we've seen this before in the previous clutch look at the head stamp too with the dot on the head stamp this is not a normal head stamp so I think you already know what this guy is this is fire just a single copy of fire let's compare that with the fire from the previous clutch here's fire from the previous clutch and here's a regular chip off the old block fire from this clutch and I think you can see that they are if we look at the head stamps Oop, if I can get them to cooperate here let's take a look at the head stamps come on guys sort yourselves out there are the head stamps so we have two identical head stamps we have two identical snakes I think you can see that we've got the bright dorsal we've got the reduced pattern we've got the bow ties and we've got the little donut let's have a look at the smaller one there's the donut here here's the bow ties so we're definitely looking at a single copy of fire so here's the comparison between the siblings on the left here is the normal and on the right we have the fire and I think it's clear the difference between those let's carry on so I'll put these back back into the pile and let's take a look at this really bright one here compared to this guy here and the thing to notice here is behind the head on the head stamp we have a very bright let me just put this one back we have a very bright head stamp so compared to this one you can see the difference in the head stamp you can see this one has a break at the back of the head this one is joined at the back of the head let's take a look at this really bright one too okay this bright one has an even brighter head and you can see behind the eyes this indent behind the eyes that this one doesn't have quite so much this one joins the eye stripe joins up at the back of the head the eye stripe does not join up at the back of the head so clearly these are two different morphs if we look at the color you can see there's a strong difference in color both are super blushed on the dorsal but the dorsal on this one is much more continuous the dorsal on this one is broken so if we go back to our fire with the bow ties and the donuts and look at this guy here we do have the bow ties along here uh, but this is super bright so this is fire and it's not firefly it's not a single copy of pastel it's two copies of pastel and let's just compare that with the previous clutch so that we can convince ourselves that that's the case so here's a firefly from the previous clutch this is a single copy of pastel with fire you can see again the classic pattern reduction and let's just compare it with this guy and you can see that this guy is even brighter still he has the pattern reduction but he's even brighter still if we have a look at the head stamp fire tends to have this arrowhead you see how the eye stripes join up behind the head but it's a straight arrowhead this one the eye stripe joins up behind the head just the same 
but we have this slight little indent which is characteristic of the extra dose of pastel. If you remember when we looked at the pastels from the previous clutch, the way that we identified Super Pastel from the Superfly and Firefly was actually this little indent. And because he's got two copies of pastel, it is actually slightly more blushed on the head and does have slight indents but the eye stripes join up behind the head. So let's have a look at the progression. Here is the Superfly from the previous clutch. My goodness, what a cracking pair of snakes these are. So Firefly here, Superfly here. So this is the extra dose of pastel in the fire and you can see the classic pattern reduction is there but much more blushed. And if we have a look at the head on this guy you can again see the eye stripe joins up behind the head with this little black triangle there and you do have some small indents now which is the double dose of pastel. So let's compare that to this guy. Okay, now you can see exactly the same pattern on the head and the bow ties on here. So I, th I think this is actually Superfly. It's far too blushed to be just Firefly. As you can see a difference in colour. This is very very yellow and this is much paler and I think this one with a shed or two is going to look much more like this one. So here's the progression from the previous clutch. Here is Fire, Firefly, Superfly. And if we look at from this clutch we have fire, just like this guy here, and we have superfly. We don't actually have a firefly in the middle. Okay, so I realize this is an advantage that many of you, when you're identifying your snakes, don't have. I have a previous clutch as well as the parents to look at. Okay, so superfly, superfly, firefly fire and fire. Just while we're here let's compare dad okay there you go so here's firefly in the father and firefly in the first clutch that we got so you can see as they age they do dull but father has stayed quite bright let's have a look at this guy compared to father Father is now getting very squirrely and won't keep still. So I'm just trying to show you the head stamps here. The similarity in the head stamps, obviously Father is dulled out a little bit, but very, very similar head stamps. So this is Firefly and this is Superfly. So let's go back to the whole box of goodies here and start to pick out what else we can see. This guy here stands out. This is a lovely blushed orange colour and if we look at the head stamp there, very blushed out head stamp compared to this guy here. So here is Super Pastel, here is just Pastel. So we've got one Super Pastel which is this lovely orangey uh, with a very blushed dorsal but no pattern reduction still quite busy and this is the single copy so we've got Super Pastel and we've got Pastel let's compare the Super Pastel this is Super Pastel and we think that this is also Super Pastel with fire and you can see that the fire is much brighter much much brighter So Superfly and Super Pastel. If we look at the pastels compared to the Super Pastels, a very similar colour and pattern but the Super Pastel is obviously much more intense and the head stamps are much more blushed. So actually very easy to tell apart. So we have one two and three
pastels. Now this pastel in my right hand here does look a little bit more reduced than the others and has a slightly brighter dorsal. Is this actually a firefly? Because it does have the donuts here. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait. It's definitely a single copy of pastel. If we compare the head stamps they are actually quite similar to the straight pastel so I do not think that this is actually a firefly because the firefly would have a brighter head stamp. I think this is just a slightly different patterned pastel. So I think we have three straight pastels here, single copy of pastel. So what did we get in the clutch? We got three single pastels we got three normals, including the twins, in one egg. We got one super pastel. We got one fire. And we got one super fly or super pastel fire. We also had super pastel in the previous clutch. We got two of them. So this is super pastel. compared to this guy here. This guy here is still really orange compared to this one but you can see the blushing and the head stamp is very very similar. You can see the difference in the, both the colour and in the pattern. This has a much more reduced this has a much more reduced pattern. So this is Superfly, two doses of pastel and fire. This is Super Pastel from Clutch 1, and this is Super Pastel from Clutch 2. Let me see if I can just get the head stamp on this. Super Pastel for you, so that we can compare head stamps. There is the comparison in the head stamps. I think you can see the head stamps are absolutely identical on these two. There we go, that's classic. And the head stamp on this one is not quite as blushed as the head stamp on these. So we know that this is two copies of pastel in it. So there we go, that's the comparison. I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you found it useful. Um, and some of the comparisons there um, are, I think, quite illustrative. Um, it helps you to visualise the differences in any particular clutch. It's still going to be awfully difficult to identify snakes uh, standalone. If you buy a single snake and say, what morph is that? That makes things very difficult. And you'll see that it's also very difficult to identify snakes just from a photograph because you can't pick them up. Uh, you can't see the living colour as the snake moves. Uh, you can't examine the snake in detail and look for little subtleties. So for all those people that send photos and asking for their snakes to be identified, just be aware that at best it's an educated guess and a photograph is not the best way of identifying your snakes. Okay, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.